Hi there, I'm Vinati Shet and I'm back again with some tips for cat. So you can find me on all an academy platform at platforms at Vinati157 and here's a little something about me. Well, go ahead if you want to and our series or course is called Section Wise Preparation Strategy for CAT 2017 and this specific chapter is about quantitative ability. So call it whatever like Indians have it in our DNA or etc etc Mo most of us are pretty good at it uh, at the, the, those of you who did not go ahead with uh, maths in their uh, schools in the 11th and 12th standard you might think you are bad at it but once you start preparing you will catch up immediately because uh, we Indians really do have a good grasp on maths so we are lucky that way so quantitative ability section is uh, completely going to rely on one word which is practice not skills not hard work nothing it's it's only about practice how well you practice and uh, what sort of questions you practice as in you keep doing a thousand questions every day which which have an easy difficulty level and do 10 quality questions one day properly in set time so the one who, who does the 10 quality questions is going to score more than the thousand easy ones so do proper practice for quant and you will be able to go through it without any glitches so um, the tips for quant would be uh, first is practice practice and practice so my hindi speaking friends quant ki ek hi technique hai wo hai practice aap agar sahi se practice karenge matlab quality acche level ki practice karenge to aapko quant mein koi bhi problem nahi aayegi then second rule is arithmetic tricks now there are certain tricks involved i mean i used one of those examples in the basic information about cat video which was multiply 11 by 11 you get one to one do the same thing with 111 uh, multiply that with 111 and you get one two two one do that with 1111 multiply by 1111 you get one two three two one so there are a lot of arithmetic tricks like this like this was uh, one of those uh, shortcuts uh, that are available but uh, again there are many tricks many ways in which you could you know minimize your time and uh, minimize the effort you put into the question so दूसरा जो हमारा टेक्निक है वो है ट्रिक्स आपको मैथ्स की बहुत सारी ट्रिक्स अवेलेबल हैं ऑनलाइन भी है एन एकेडमी के कोर्सेज पे भी है और फ्यूचर में मैं भी थोड़े कोर्सेज अपलोड करने वाली हूं तो उसके अंदर भी वो ट्रिक्स आएंगी तो अगर आप उस ट्रिक्स को ट्रिक्स के साथ अपने आप को फैमिलियराइज कर लेंगे तो आपको कोई भी प्रॉब्लम नहीं आएगी और व्हेन आई से कोई भी प्रॉब्लम आई मीन कुछ क्वेश्चंस जिनको आप बहुत जिन पे आप बहुत टाइम स्पेंड करेंगे आपको ट्रिक पता होगी तो आप उसको आधे मिनट में सॉल्व कर पाएंगे देन द थर्ड रूल इज रिमेंबर स्क्वायर रूट्स एंड क्यूब रूट्स सो दिस इज समथिंग दैट अ वेटरन क्वांट फैकल्टी टोल्ड मी व्हिच वाज रिमेंबर द स्क्वायर रूट्स एंड क्यूब रूट्स ऑफ नंबर्स टिल 35 if you cannot remember till 35 settle at 25 but remember the squares and cubes of these numbers and if possible also memorize tables so um, aapko square root or cube root 25 tak ya 35 tak agar aap learn kar sake to learn kariye aapko uski kafi zyada benefits exams mein dikhengi then fourth is shortcut so if if we take an example for shortcut is remainders right when we are told to find remainders there are many methods we could use to find rem remainders i mean to the best of my knowledge i know three so out of the three methods one is conventional and two are shortcut types methods and out of the two shortcuts one method suits me the best 
so learn these shortcuts and uh, work out which technique works for you the best so aapko shortcuts jo bhi har topic ke specific topics ke shortcut rahenge ya koi aisi uh, extra formula formula rahegi तो उसको अगर आप लर्न करके या उसको अगर आप समझ के सीख लेंगे तो आपके क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करना आपके लिए बहुत ज़्यादा आसान हो जाएगा एंड फिफ्थ एंड फाइनल इज फाइनल रूल इज सी सम ऑफ आस नो मैटर हाउ हार्ड वी ट्राई वी आर बैड एट समथिंग सो फॉर सम पीपल डेफिनेटली मैथ्स इज अ वीक पॉइंट एंड इफ यू आर वन ऑफ दोज पीपल हु आर वीक at finding answers or who don't really get a lot of correct answers the best method for you is learn how to eliminate the options which is uh, you you can use a combination of uh, two things the question uh, the the formula and uh, the options given to you so feed values uh, work up half the question and then start feeding values from the options so do the lhs equals to rhs system using the options uh, in the beginning it might seem time consuming but as as you set your hand to it you'll probably be able to um, you know uh, spend a lesser amount of time uh, eventually but the best way still is to get the answer but if you are weak at finding answers you can learn how to eliminate the options और फाइनल टिप है कि अगर आपको सवाल का जवाब निकालने में मुश्किल होती है तो आप एलिमिनेशन टेक्निक यूज करिए तो आधा सवाल सॉल्व करिए और फिर एक इक्वेशन या एक पॉइंट पे आप पहुंच जाएंगे तो उसमें ऑप्शन सब्सटीट्यूट करिए अगर ऑप्शन बैठ रहा है तो वो आंसर है और नहीं बैठ रहा है तो उसको एलिमिनेट कर दो सो दीज आर द टिप्स एंड प्रायोरिटी इज नंबर सिस्टम्स has a lot of weightage number systems or number theory directly indirectly all way this is a must do chapter geometry completely reliant on formulae and uh, how well you know how to read the question because again um, how how you interpret and read the question will determine how the things go ahead mixtures and allegations again you have to be very careful about calculations set theory you have to learn how to understand the question probability again learn how to understand the question and look for keywords like and or something like that like we'll discuss the details of all of this as uh, you know next courses are released in due time then pipes and cisterns permutation combination races games boat streams problems on trains so you will have at least one question from all of this all of these and at least one direct question you can get an indirect question as well or you can get something from of something related to this in the data sufficiency section so the these have weightage not only in quant but in data sufficiency as well so these are the topics that you begin your quantitative aptitude cat preparation with then the uh, then another topic is average but then see you will not have direct average questions but you will have a lot of average implications so then you have high weightage is given to speed time distance again uh, these questions are at least one question in the paper questions and these are uh, you probably won't have direct questions but you will have implied questions or data sufficiency questions where these would be asked so speed time distance trigonometry ratio proportion time work mensuration lcm hcf functions calendars and clocks chain rule and linear and quadratic equations so you you cannot you cannot not study these chapters like you cannot say that it's okay if i won't do it uh, i might get through no you you won't because if you are trying to stay in the 90 percentile bracket th- these are the topics where you score because there is not much logic involved you just have to follow the specifications and see where the calculation leads you 
and then finally we have low weightage questions and why why these are called low weightage see there is no such thing as low weightage in quant but these have low weightage uh, assigned to them because you will not have direct questions from these you will have uh, if if you don't know percentage you won't be able to uh, calculate certain aspects of data interpretation questions so you they will not ask you what is the percent of this or that in quant questions separately but they will ask you applications of percentage in different questions so these have been named low weightage because direct questions are not available from these sections or you don't get a lot of direct questions but the indirect weightage of just about all of these is very high so progression is in apgp series problems on ages profit loss discount averages compound simple interest percentage coordinate geometry inequalities binomial theorem and log so i hope that we are clear by now and as far as book recommendations go like there are lots of books right like agarwal nishit sinha like so many books available for quant but the quality of questions you get in shakuntala devi books is phenomenal so if if you uh, if you want to prepare quality wise go ahead with shakuntala devi books and see these books are not catered for cat but these specifically cat th these books are catered for mathematics or quantitative abilities so if you, if you want to improve your skill level you could definitely go ahead with those uh, with these books and again our four standard websites uh, these websites will provide you with wonderful wonderful practice exercises and tips in the form of blogs so thank you so much for listening in stay tuned and as always don't forget to be confident be meticulous and uh, give it your all when it comes to preparations and don't forget to rate review recommend and share the course and if you have any questions doubts or things to say write those down in the comment section have a wonderful day and best of luck